Okay, Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. Gonna be doing kind of the Trump Towers area. First target, Florida. All right, well, I didn't get very far, and I already got my first, I think, piece of bling. If I look good for a second. Wow, we got a ring. But it's bling. Crazy. You never think behind some towers you get a bling ring. Boom. Dude, look at that, a second bling ring. Oh, wait. Maybe this one isn't going to be bling. Hmm. Hold on, let me look for a mark. Alright, looks like it has little eyeballs. I do see a 925 in there. Boom, got some silver. I guess I should probably mention that uh, I thought I was going to dig a zinc penny when I just got that last silver ring. I find that a lot, you know. I hunt these beaches in the winter and they can be a little picked over, but man, especially in the zinc penny range. I mean, obviously, somebody just skipped a zillion zinc pennies in here. And uh, two years ago, we got a chunk of gold back here. Just a huge white gold bead. It's crazy, so heavy. Super designer. And I think it was ringing up right around 20, 21, something like that, so. Yeah, I wouldn't get too stuck on the numbers, guys. I mean, and you gotta remember, sometimes you're the most successful doing the opposite of what everybody else is doing, so. People are skipping pennies, that's all that's out here. Grab them, there's a lot of good stuff in the penny range. Big gold and little silver. So, my uh, arm cuff broke on me, so what I did is I flipped it. And then I put the screw in from this side, pulled the thing back. And it's not perfect, but you know what? It'll get me back to the car. I do have a backup machine I can pull off of there, but I really don't want to leave it. All right, early morning, Sunny Isle Beach. So, unfortunately, I haven't done that much metal detecting on this vacation. I've been playing a lot of airsoft with my boy, which has also been amazing. But I got two straight days, so let's see if we can get some gold. Bling. Well, this has three com. And I don't know exactly, but He's got Russian writing on there. Cool. This was <laughs> kind of up a one. Mostly in the minus. Well, there's my first piece of jewelry this morning. I don't know. Probably just bling, but I'll test it. Hey, Arthur. I have your badge. Got a fancy little spoon. Well, I got me a little stud here. I'm thinking this is going to be precious. Let me take a look. Yep, it says 925 on the shaft. A little precious metals are ready this morning. Well, there's your zinc penny sound, guys. This time. Turned out to be uh, Tiffany and Company, 925. Little charm, how awesome is that? So I'm not showing you the collab. There's so much of it, but what I'm doing, I'm in one of these fancy hotels and I'm I'm just gridding it out, chasing, they're, they're chasing me with chairs, but I'm, I'm beating them. <laughs> so once all these uh, dry sand areas are full of chairs, I'll probably head out in the water. Plus it's high tide right now, so. But hey, Tiffany, baby. Another fancy little spoon. Look what I found. It's Chattery. Pandora 925. Boom. Is that pretty? Well, I've been working the water for hours. Not much going on. But what did I get here? Two pesos. 
Hey, look at that. Big old fishing weight. Maybe things are looking up. Just hit a little bit of clad, too. Yeah, it's dug a 17. Some kind of ring. Boy, that thing's encrusted. <coughs> Pretty cool looking. Hmm. Let me see if it'll clean up. Okay, I got it pretty clean. Um, I have a tungsten ring that's inlaid with gold, and that's got a gold looking chain. But my uh, tungsten ring that's gold is also marked 14K in there. This one just says tungsten, so a chain is probably not gold, but that's for tungsten. That's a pretty cool ring, man. Well, I thought, I thought I was digging a penny, or a dime, and I got some crusty, gross ring. I'm gonna go with that bling. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. But hey, a ring's a ring, right? Boom. All right, it's almost dark. They moved the chairs, so we're back to Trump Towers after a long day of trying other stuff. There's some bling. Thought we had a coin spill, but it's a car. Weird. Looks like it's been there a while. All right, day two, sunny aisles. Beautiful morning. Nice breeze. Say, it just got me 20 euros. So, I got this little stud, had a rusty back, uh, it doesn't really strike me as silver, I think it's going to be bling, I'm actually surprised how much bling there is behind Trump Towers, I mean, I think this is four or five hundred bucks a night to stay here, I'm uh, surprised all the bling jewelry. All the schmack talk I did just a second ago. This is 925. It's written right there on the stem. This looks really terrible. That's funny. Alright, that I didn't expect. It just got me a wheat penny. 1944. Crazy. Another 20 euros. Or 20 cents. Okay, I don't know what this cool little coin is. But it's I think it says five kuras. That's probably totally wrong. Tell me what it is, guys. Car. Look at that, that's two feet. There's all kinds of stuff on there. Check, check that out. Bling. Uh, well, thought I had gold there for a second. I think it's a little bling ring. Check it out. If it's got a mark, I'll let you know. Well, that's a pretty decent little coin spill. You got me three nickels and three pennies. Not bad. Fish them out of there. Maybe there's just two pennies, so that was three. Well, I thought it was going to be a pull tab, but it's a pair of scissors. Look at that. All right, bleeding hair thing. That's ringing up like a penny. You know, I thought I was going to dig a quarter, but that's a, one of those presidential dollar coins. Awesome. So I got the top to a ring or something here. Some piece of jewelry. Feels real heavy, but I can't tell if it's just the stone. Oh, I think it's probably going to be blingy again, dang it. Just can't seal the deal today. 
Yeah, I see the plating wearing off. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Fancy pen top, I guess. That's kind of cool. It must be uh, like Gandalf's pen or something. Boom.